Get excited people, today we are doing my bag collection which includes bags that I have purchased this year, bags that I have sold this year, everything I have plus a mini little review. If you like bags, you have come to the right place. So there's a couple of things that this collection doesn't touch on which are my high street bags of which I have a few of. And then there are a couple of bags that are still within the family but they've been given to my mom and she literally loves them. So we have the Givenchy Anticona in Pebble and then I think a Mulberry Bayswater which she also has as well. And then I think a bag from Coach. But I think here today we have roughly 28 bags which I think was actually the exact same number as I had last year. I need to fact check that. So kind of interesting that for every one I've sold, I have then gained another one in its place. So we have a one in one out system going on apparently. Not the plan, but okay. I'm just gonna jump straight in and try and keep the reviews as concise as possible. So if you have any extra questions, then pop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer all of them. But I'm gonna get started with small bag. And this is the point where I show you several black clutches that all look the same and i have to say that a few of these will be i'll tell you what is gifted as we go along but a few of these are gifted i wouldn't normally own this many black clutches but i'll show you the one that is my own and that i chose myself this is the ysl i think this is the is this the Kate clutch i think it might be named after kate moss i could be completely wrong but my memory is saying that that's what this clutches um this one is stunning i will never get rid of this it's actually probably one of the best designer purchases that i've made though it doesn't get daily wear i will crack this out year after year after year this is how i know it's a me bag because my love for this has never waned at all like i adore it it's black uh velvet oh it's just it feels so nice it feels so soft to touch and then it's got this gorgeous gunmetal ysl detailing with like black jewels stud things in it it's gorgeous and then the gunmetal tassel as well it also has a chain strap which has a little shoulder bit as well also in gunmetal um and it's basically like a giant wallet on the inside so you've got spaces for your cards you've got a little zip bit which no money in there sad it does get a little bit of fluff on it i can't lie and i am seeing a little bit of wear now on the corners but it's because it's been used and loved and actually for the amount of times i've been out and been absolutely off my face it's it's in very good condition not that i worry about the condition too much i mean i want to keep it nice but i'm never ever selling this bag so i don't really worry about it in terms of resale but yeah, I absolutely adore this bag. It will always be in my collection. Love it so much. Then we have a couple of very identical clutches. So we have um, a Tom Ford clutch, which I was gifted this year and I absolutely love it. This is actually a really nice one because it's got this long gold chain strap. And what I like to do is link the chain strap up underneath to just shorten it slightly. And then it works as a crossbody across my very short body really nicely. Um, that is something to note, by the way, um, because so many people over the years have noted that bags look bigger than they are when I hold them up. I am quite a small human, like I'm short. Um, so five foot two and my hands are very, very, very small. For ring size reference, like I'm a size I. That is not, that is child size. So yeah, imagine like a child holding up bags and that's why sometimes the sizes don't look right. That was a real tangent. Anyway, yeah, I like a shorter chain strap across my body because otherwise it just ends up kind of like bashing around by my crotch, which is a bit weird. But um, yeah, love this bag. It's got like a double thingy here and you pop the little T open. And then it again, like a giant wallet on the inside and i just think this one is gorgeous it's really nice if you want like a real um pop of gold to go with your outfit i really love that and um, next i have this jimmy chew bag which i have changed the strap on to make it more of a like shoulder uh situation yeah i just kind of like loop it around a lot underneath the bag flap does it cause problems when i open the bag and try to get stuff out oh yes but um that's the price i pay for wanting a bag that's like a shoulder bag when it's not a shoulder bag this was a gift from the jimmy Choo team last year i think um and it's really really beautiful a nice smooth 
leather it's got a small amount of gold detailing which i really like so very very timeless so i have that one and then i also have this one which was also a gift from uh, the YSL team back in 2018 and I have really fond memories of the trip that I went on with them to Paris so um, yeah I will never get rid of this bag I absolutely love it I'm not normally a sentimental person at all like I don't ever keep like train tickets or anything like that like any tickets that have memories or anything um, I have like the occasional birthday card but when it comes to bags if I have been given a bag as a gift and it's a real like core memory for me um, I like to keep it and I will just never get rid of it and and I just love this one. I love YSL, I love YSL bags. They are just one of my all time favorite brands. Then we have this gorgeous little fuchsia pink bag, which is from the Jimmy Choo collection last Christmas, I believe. I have the matching bow shoes that go with this and I adore them and I love both together. They really work so nicely with like a black dress um, at Christmas and it's a nice take on like Christmas dressing, but not being like super festive. And I just think the material is so lovely. It's such a nice touch, um, but I would love like some more autumnal colors of these to be brought out. It has this little bow closure on the top um and you just pull it open and then inside we have this long really lovely silver chain strap and then a little jimmy choo charm on the corner it's very unlike me but i've really enjoyed having some bags that are more of a pop of color then we have an old favorite which i will just never get rid of like i don't think they make these anymore it's stunning it is stunning this is the valentino rockstar bag and i basically i don't wear this a lot but i will pull this out at weddings i absolutely love this for a wedding if i've got like a dress that has any kind of even if it clashes with a green nicely or it has bits of green in it or i don't know it just it goes with a lot it goes with like navy blues any cool tone color i will kind of match this gorgeous mint green up with and do you know what i love is this stud detailing and the tone of gold that it is like it's almost so not gold it could be silver if that makes sense it's like a real champagne gold i just think it is stunning i don't really own anything else like it absolutely love it it doesn't fit a lot i don't think it even fits a phone oh no oh it's not looking good but yeah if i'm at a wedding i don't really mind i've normally got my phone in my hand for like photo moments or whatever so um yeah it's just a nice one if you just need like lipstick keys wallet that kind of thing but for the color and the overall vibe of it and the fact that you can't get it anymore it's stunning um this one i paid for the majority of but i did have a gift voucher many 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 years ago so um yeah partially paid for by me partially from louisa Aroma. it's gorgeous and then i have this this does this even count as a bag i'm making it look bigger than it is it's actually tiny it's like ridiculously tiny but you know what this is actually kind of useful for if you are like on an easy jet flight and you're not meant to have like two bags but you want to have two bags because you want to keep like your airpods or your flight socks on you so that you don't forget to get them out of your big luggage this is actually really useful so i've snuck onto many an easy jet flight <laughs> with this over me and then i just don't annoy people by having to get up once the seatbelt sign is off and like get stuff like really stupid minimal things out of my um like cabin bag so yeah it's kind of useful but um apart from that has absolutely zero use so moving on to not so tiny tiny bags um i actually don't know if these are all in order because i'm really not actually uh, clued up on the volume of everything but we're just going to go roughly um in order this one this one i think needs a new home because i actually never wear this um and it is it's a really fun one if you like go to festivals but like i can't remember the last festival i went to so part of me is thinking this one needs a new home like i don't even look at it and like love it I think for a while I was keeping this one because uh, I was sentimentally attached to it, but now I'm just not so sure that I am. So um, yeah, I'm thinking it needs a new home, but this is the Chloe Faye backpack um, in the tan. I got this in Chloe in LA on, what's that street? Melrose. Uh, Melrose? Yeah, it is very sweet, but I just never wear it. I just don't feel like it suits me. I think it's brown bags. I very rarely, I think there's one other brown bag oh no technically two but mostly one other brown leather bag that i have in my collection and that's it next up this is a newer purchase for me this year and a very very fun one this is the jacquemus chiquito mm, i don't want to butcher that because 
I don't, I don't want to butcher it, but it's the same bag style as the little green one, but in the bigger size in a bubblegum pink, which I absolutely adore. When I bought this, this felt risky because I have never really had a bag that's like a bright pink like this. Like I obviously have the fuchsia one. This was like a whole different ballpark because it's not a pastel and it's not like a bright color. It's a soft bright color and I'd never owned anything like this. And I was like, mm, how is this gonna work for me? But over this summer, I have absolutely adored this bag so much. I still don't know if you can get your hands on this exact one. I think there's the, the slightly larger size with the non twirly handle that's available but this one sold out very very quickly but yeah it's got the long strap and then just is kind of open in the middle with one like tiny pocket there what is this nibitha rocks food token damn why did i not use ah oh, should have we we could have got burgers last time i've worn it with a lot of different things i've worn it with like red dresses pink dresses purple dresses like i really went like color clashing with this and i've absolutely loved it this has to be one of the best bag purchases i've ever made this is the fendi camera bag with the monogramming on it it's got the monogramming front and back and then the logo on the front black leather around the sides and then just like minimal gold detailing but this i literally throw on every day if i just need to throw like keys purse phone in something keys purse phone sometimes vlogging camera like everything i need just fits in here even lip products airpods dog poo bags this is that kind of bag i'm going on my daily hot girl walk kind of bag i think this was 900 pounds when i bought it and this bag is great because though i wear it very very casually every day you can dress it up or down so you can wear it cross body with like a blazer and it looks really cool people say to me what should your first designer bag purchase be and it's so difficult because that's so different to everyone based on budgets based on lifestyle based on job but i always think you can't go wrong with a camera bag and this one especially because i personally i'm a big fendi monogram lover but because it's got the black as well it just goes a little bit more it's not as like boho as like this you know different types of brown i think i like a kind of darker brown whereas this is very warm very boho very not my vibe it's probably my best designer bag purchase of all time and literally was probably one of the cheapest in my collection one of the not cheapest in my collection is up next and this one is mad to me because i think now it's actually worth more than when i bought it and that blows my mind. This is the Chanel uh, small boy bag in lambskin leather with light gold hardware. And it looks like it's doing something weird at the moment because again, I've done that thing where I've like shortened the chain strap and put the chain underneath. But yeah, Chanel bags, they are mad. They blow my mind every day. Um, but this one's great. You can like make the chain shorter so it sits more under your arm, which I really like doing at the moment. Um, or you can have it long and cross body however i usually end up winding the strap under the flap once because chanel chain straps are so long the only ones that aren't are on the small classic flap which sadly i don't own and i don't know if i will ever own like definitely never brand new but yeah i bought this in like 2015 in the rue cambon store in paris it was one of i think it was the third designer bag i ever bought um I think at the time I bought it for like around 3,000, was it 3,000 pounds? 3,500, I can't remember what I bought it for the top of my head because it was also in euros, but I know that it's worth a hell of a lot more now. And it's held up really, really well. I don't use it a ton to be honest because um, it's just very delicate. Like the leather is just so delicate. And to be honest with the rate, the price of these are increasing. Uh, I will wear them less and less because it's just scaring me if I'm very, very honest. Um, but it's a stunning bag and one that I think I don't get a lot of wear out of at the moment. Like the boy bag isn't particularly like trendy, but I think it's a bag that suits like the core principles of my style quite well and that I will come back to over and over again in my life um, and that's something I like to think about a lot when I um, buy bags or decide what I'm selling or what I'm keeping or whatever like I said I got this in the small I'm really happy I got it in the small because I just don't love the bigger ones and um, I don't think they suit me they look too big on my frame as well whereas the small on me it just looks a lot better but I do think I'd get a lot more wear out of this if the chain was shorter. Then we have this little bag, which I know so many of you love so much and so do I. It's the YSL Cassandra bag in raffia with black leather 
trims and back and I absolutely love this bag so much. It fits a decent amount in. I love the pop closure i just think that that's such a gorgeous mesmerizing little detail on the bag i absolutely adore it um it's fairly big on the inside it's got two little compartments the chain strap again so long but i don't really mind because i mostly just top handle this depending on your style i would definitely recommend looking at the cassandra bags overall not necessarily in this style because this is very seasonal but they do it in like a nude a white a black like so many different like colors and tones and i think it's a really lovely bag for like day and night so if you're looking for like a first designer bag and you have a style that is maybe a bit more dressy uh like classic style i think the cassandra just in a plain leather and in whatever tone works for you would be an amazing first bag purchase they fit a really decent amount like i can do vlogging camera phone card holder keys lipsticks like you know just all of those essentials next we are moving on to more small bags but these are like classic small bags so the ones that i just showed you they kind of fit like a certain amount and you can't fit like the extras but these are small bags that you can kind of fit all of the extras in actually apart from this one i feel like this one is deceiving but the volume of what you can fit in is actually minimal because it like goes up in the middle here which is so stupid this is the dior saddle bag um it's in the black grainy leather which is i think the most durable they've got like grainy and then this like almost like glitzy material um and then they have the smooth and i just went for grainy because i wanted like a really great little everyday bag and i specifically bought this because i wanted like a shoulder bag and um, lots of people say oh you should get the strap for it and i'm like one no because they're extortionate but two i purposely bought this because i wanted a shoulder bag because that was something i didn't have a lot of in my collection at the start of the year so that's definitely an area where i have put my money a couple of times this year my handle is not looking great i am aware because i keep it on a display hook so it just sits like that um but i very rarely have to like hold it up like this so i don't really mind but yeah it has a back pocket a zip pocket on the inside and then the inside looks like it carries a lot but it really really doesn't like phone keys card holder maybe some lipsticks if you're lucky so not the best in terms of like carrying a lot but i just love the overall vibe of it i love how fun it is i love the kind of detailing on the side i think it's really pretty i also love this in the all nude as well and i really wanted that but i just know from monitoring my bag collection over years and years and years i know what i love and what i get the most wear out of and it is always the black bags so um yeah i decided to just get it in black and i have no regrets over that because it really does go with so much in my wardrobe i wear it a ton it's one that i take with me on holiday because it works really well for more like holiday vibe outfits but it would also work equally as nicely with the outfit that i'm wearing right now it's like this is as boho -y as i can i can go and that's why i didn't buy it for a long time because i felt like it was a bit too boho for my style but actually getting it in black kind of brings it back a little bit since they made a comeback they've been around for a fair while and they don't seem to be going anywhere so i feel like this will be one of those that i'll return to wearing again and again and again speaking of wearing again and again and again oh, i love this bag so much like this bag i love it so much it's so beautiful and um, so i was very lucky to get this my friend carla she is a how do i explain what color does she's a personal stylist and a wardrobe stylist her job is really really cool and sometimes she kind of sells some of her clients purchases on their behalf and this was one that she put on her instagram and i was like how much i'm gonna need that i absolutely love it i think the color of it is so unique i don't have anything like this like i said i go for a lot of black bags couple of brown bags and a few like textured or monogrammed i didn't have anything like this and it's in the grainy leather as well which again i don't have in my collection in terms of like a chanel bag and something that i really wanted because i didn't want anything that was like going to scratch it's got silver hardware which it's just stunning like it's dressy because of the shape of it like you've got that top handle and it's the this is the coco top handle by the way i think i'm not sure i'm gonna i'll write everything in the info box but yeah it's dressy because of the shape and structure of it but the silver hardware kind of brings it back down the grainy texture brings it back and makes it a bit more tough and then the color is just so unique this is one that will come out when it comes to like winter weddings any kind of like more smart casual occasion during the winter and this is the bag i absolutely love it it hasn't got a lot of wear over the summer but 
during the winter you're going to be seeing this so much because i already wore it so much when i first got my hands on it i think it was in march and i just know that this will be one that i will come back to wearing more as a winter bag again and again and again i just think it's stunning got the little cc on the front with the twist lock and then you open it up it's got two compartments on the inside and then the zip on the back and it's just beautiful it fits so much into it it's got the little pocket on the back as well absolutely love that i'm gonna move on now because i'm talking about it too much and i'm just gushing this is my most recent is this my most recent no mm, no it's not um this is second to most recent bag purchase this is the balenciaga bag that i can never remember the name for it begins with a c um this is in the small size they do extra small and then this is the small but i don't think they do anything bigger than that i find it weird when brands do that um but yeah i adore this i love the balenciaga city and this is obviously like a slightly more edgy play on that and in a shoulder bag version which i love but you can also um use the little holes on the side and make it like a crossbody um so i love it in terms of its versatility i am very emotionally dependent on this bag i literally i just went to ibiza and i based my whole ibiza wardrobe around this bag every outfit was made so that i could just take the one bag and i had the best time i loved it and do you know what else i love i love the fact that the mirror in this is heart shaped like they've really taken this bag that's so like rough and tough and they've just added a heart shaped mirror it has got a pocket on the back a pocket that you've just seen on the front much like the balenciaga city and then it's got it's just big and it's really stretchy like you can really cram a lot in here next up like the complete opposite to the bag i just showed you is the uh, Saint Laurent Sac de Jour in the bright yellow. I got this off Farfetch and this came from, I can't remember, but it was very far away. Like I don't think at the time they were doing this color in the UK, but they do now do it. It is a stunning color. Like I've never really seen anything else like it. I really like the shape of these. It's very, very timeless. It fits so much. Like it's just massive. So I can fit quite a lot in here. I actually like it a lot not only as a day bag uh for like smarter occasions but i really love it uh i guess in the same vein uh as a wedding bag because obviously want to look like cute and smart and formal but i need to be there all day from like 12 till 12 i'm gonna need a lot of stuff you know so yeah i absolutely love this bag for that i think it does yeah it has a strap uh, but i never ever use the strap if i'm honest i always use this more as a top handle bag I absolutely love it i did have this in beige um and i sold it there were a few that i sold actually and they were all smaller bags so i sold the uh saint laurent sac de jour in beige i sold the jadior clutch it was like a not a small clutch but like quite a large clutch in um like a neutral rosy i think it was like a dusky rose color i sold that i sold a Givenchy antigona in black croc as well chloe Fay backpack in green i think i talked about a lot of them in my last bag video so if you want to go and watch that i'll link it on screen and in the info box below but um another bag that i always contemplate selling and again it's brown there's something about browns but only certain browns um this is the chloe test bag in the brown croc leather um i literally never wear this like literally i haven't worn it since my last bag video but it's stunning and everybody loves it and i love it but i just literally never wear it i think it might be a bit too boho style for me uh, it's got a lovely big thick brown strap it fits quite a lot in it like the only thing that lets it down is because it's round you can't like fit as many like phones card holders all of that because um they're very square so i think you lose a little bit of space there but overall it's a really great bag it's one that's quite nice and dressy but it's like casual at the same time i guess because of the color especially but i literally never wear this i think it might be the least worn bag i of all time from me and that's actually saying something because i really thought that was going to be the fay backpack but i really have not worn this a lot another small bag that might need to go this is the Givenchy Antigona in white which I don't think I've worn this year um, and that makes me really sad this one does have 
like a slight bit of like it's gone slightly yellow across the edge of the like the lining on the bag which is really really annoying white bags for you really isn't it but this one fitted like a fair amount like it's a decent day bag the only thing i would say is they are so structured which is great because they really hold their own over time like they never look bashed up in my opinion anyway um but you just can't get them open and then the zip is really rough and it's like quite uncomfortable to like take things in and out because it's just scratching you um so yeah i don't love the small antigonas and again they have like shoulder straps but the shoulder straps are way too long so literally never use them it does fit a lot in so it's great day bags you can fit like a makeup bag phone keys card holder sunglasses like literally everything you could need for like a general day-to-day -day going out for like the whole day like i can fit a bottle of water in here it makes me so sad because these were the first style of designer bag that i really truly loved um but yeah i'm just not really not wearing them that much at the moment now we are moving into more mid-sized bags and this bag is still called a small bag but for me it's definitely more of a like mid-size you can fit quite a lot into it this is the chanel 19 in the like what is this like tweed not dog tooth i'm gonna say black black and beige tweed it is absolutely stunning i got this for my birthday last year and i absolutely love it i've worn it so much i have absolutely zero regrets about passing with as much money as i did to buy this because it has been such an amazing purchase for me i absolutely love it it's a very slouchy bag and um, like lots of people were quite shocked when i unboxed it because i think everyone expected it to be like very very structured a bit like the classic flaps but it's super soft like very very squishy like it's just material though there's no structure and i really like it for that actually because i just don't worry about it that much um the one thing i would say is if you're quite particular about your bag staying perfect you won't like this one because the um material on it because it's like a tweed it can like pull a little bit i personally like things that are like a little bit slouchy and worn and like loved like that um and this was one that i didn't buy in terms of like resale value i bought more as like it was a treat for myself um so i'm not really too precious on the material like pulling or anything it's just going to be one of those bags that i love and wear over and over and over again it's got a little top handle and then a longer chain strap which i like to again wrap around so that it turns into more of a like shoulder bag but the chain has like gold and gun metal which i really like because it blends both of the metals that i kind of tend to wear into one bag so it makes it very easily wearable for me it's got a huge compartment in the middle pocket on the inside pocket on the back it makes me so happy i have absolutely no regrets over buying this it's just stunning it's got the gorgeous like chain cc on the front with the twist lock another best bag purchase i've made which was pretty touch and go for a while like i bought this and then didn't wear it for months and months on end it is the louveton pochette matisse in the reverse monogram this bag i absolutely love but like i said i didn't wear it for about six months when i first bought it and i thought i've made a real mistake i think this was around 1400 pounds which in terms of designer bags and how many price increases there have been this sounds like a real bargain right now but anyway i was a little bit worried when i didn't wear it for basically the first six months of owning it um another one of those that is slightly problematic for me because the chain strap is very very long as we came into end of august like early september i started wearing this so much and it turned into being a really great casual everyday bag for me which that was not what i was expecting from this bag i really wasn't expecting like to wear it casually i thought i'd be wearing it more dressy using the top handle because i love a top handle bag no long strap just flung over my shoulder with a very very casual outfit like think cycle shorts little vest top big overshirt that kind of vibe it's a great one for when you're going out for a while because it fits so much in it you have the double like little clasp which is how you pop this open and then wow so much stuff so you have the double compartment on the inside back pocket and then a pocket on the back that is a zip pocket as well which i really love i love bags that have zip pockets on the back i find them so useful and with this one i've then also taken to adding the strap and then cross it over wrap it underneath 
I'm making a real pig's ear of this, um, wrapping it underneath the bag. And then you have a little shorter strap as well. So it fits really nicely under the crook of my arm. And that's how I tend to wear it a lot. However, this one is probably the worst for when you open the bag again, it does tend to like just fall straight away. I basically have to put it down if I'm gonna get anything out of it. But um, it's a really handy little trick to be able to do if you do want to shorten your bag strap. But yeah, it fits so much in. It's a great everyday bag. It's really durable, it has basically zero wear and tear which i love and i just love the little tom print i was a 90s baby and my childhood was obviously mostly 90s and 2000s and this is just iconic of the 2000s for me and i absolutely adore it then we're moving into larger more mid-size this next one is one that i basically never wear but it is stunning this is the chanel jumbo classic flap i adore this one but i'm not gonna lie you guys the price increases like i've already mentioned i'm not gonna bang on about it too much but the price increases of chanel bags it's scaring me i get a bit scared to take this out of the house now in case like it gets scratched because it's just worth so much money now this one is just in such gorgeous condition that i get a bit scared of like damaging it it's just stunning and um, but yeah this is the jumbo classic flap i got this from the rue cambon store so you open it up and you've got like the flap over the inside it is a little bit worn on the inside because the um chains on the bag tend to like sit on top of it um i've actually changed where my chains sit when i store it so that they don't do that but i didn't know that when i bought it and no one really warns you about it i also hate this little button here actually like presses down on this part of the bag so when you store it you literally have to make sure that button is like popped on there this is a very like high maintenance bag for me they are just so delicate i think if i was buying one as well i'd definitely go for like grainy leather it's something i really now regret about buying lots of these bags in the very soft like lambskin leather i would never do that now after having the kind of like bluey gray one in grainy leather i can really see the difference in how i feel about the bag and the benefit of just it being a little bit more durable these just skin I love the jumbo. I love how oversized it looks, especially on my frame. Um, I love the silver hardware because I really like taking a bag that's very grown up, very classic, very proper, and then having a slightly more relaxed feel to it. And I always think silver hardware really does that. But yeah, it does fit so much in it. Like I've been able to fit like books in here. So it's a great one if I'm going up to London and I'm gonna be on the train and you know, be bored. It can fit makeup, it can fit like sunglasses, cases, like, you know, all of that kind of stuff. It's a very useful size bag but I would never recommend this as a purchase now because they now cost way more than I would ever have spent when I bought it. But following on from that category is medium bags that have been worn to death. This one I absolutely love so, so much. This is the Prada backpack. I'm not sure of the official name of this with gold hardware and like black leather trim. This is like a velvet quilted texture. I absolutely adore this so much um and this one is one that i'm quite sentimental over because it reminds me of a backpack that my mum had in the 90s when i was growing up um it was not a prada backpack but it's in like a very similar style um and i think hers might have been like leather or quilted or something like that i really i can't remember fully but it's very reminiscent of something that she had and i just love that i love how vintagey it feels i love the black velvet i love the black velvet so much um i tend to just throw it over one shoulder i actually haven't worn it for a really long time but this one is one that i like to wear if i'm just like wearing active wear and just like dressing very very casual or if i'm going on like a plane or something like that it's good for being like a small cabin bag as well and just really easy to actually travel with i've been caught in the rain with it many times i don't think it's held up particularly well but this was one that i bought more as a bag that i knew i would love and keep and wear over years and years and years and um that is very much still the case it fits so much in like it's obviously a backpack so it's just great for like fitting a load of crap in um and it's got these two little small pockets on the front as well i don't think they make this anymore which is sad i love a black quilted texture as you will probably have realized from this video because a lot of my bags are um like a black quilted texture so yeah i absolutely adore that one another one that i have loved for many many years this is probably one of my most watched uh what's in my bags on my channel actually is the Givenchy antigona this one's a little bit dusty because i keep it on top of my wardrobe but um yeah it's held up pretty well like i have bashed this 
about and it really doesn't look like I've bashed it up all that badly. It's got like a few marks here and there, but overall for a smooth leather, it's doing really, really well. However, I would highly recommend like a grainy one for day to day if you just don't want to be too precious about your bags, but this fits so much in. There is so much crap in here. Wow. Oh, it's scrunchy. The thing that I don't like about this bag is that the you can remove the strap, but the strap sometimes comes off like willy nilly, like when you don't want it to, and you'll just be walking around and your like strap will like drop off your bag. And they didn't used to make them like this. So my original Givenchy Antigona in pebble, um, which my mum has, it doesn't do that. Yeah, this is the Givenchy Antigona in black smooth leather in the size small, which again, they're one of those brands where they had like nano mini small, and then I think they had a medium, but they never had a large. I thought that was weird and the medium should definitely have been a large and then they wouldn't have needed like the nano. This is a style of bag that I used to love so much, but don't really gravitate towards anymore, like I said. Um, but this one will always be in my collection because I love um, the kind of glossy look to it. And again, it's got that silver hardware, which kind of like casuals it down a bit more. So though it looks very structured and quite formal, the silver hardware like brings it back a little bit, especially for my winter style. I love a black and silver bag. Black and gold tends to be more summer as per this bag, which is my Balenciaga City. Um, I believe Kim Kardashian had this bag and it sold out basically immediately. I think I bought it before she was seen wearing it. It's the Balenciaga City in black suede with very bright gold hardware. It's absolutely stunning. Again, it's got that pocket on the front. It's got a mirror in it. They all come with a mirror, um, but this one's square. So you can see my joy over the other one being heart shaped. Um, no pocket on the back. And then it's just huge and slouchy in the middle. It's got one zip pocket and then that's basically it. It's got a zip closure as well, if you're mindful of that. You can actually remove the strap as well, which is something I've never done. I really like the strap on this though, because um, it's a really nice length to throw on your shoulder and have it sit under your arm. It's not too long. Um, this one tends to get worn more in the summer, not only because it's black and gold, and I think my black and gold bags, if I'm looking around, yeah, the black and golds, almost always tend to be warm more in the summer. I think there are a couple of exceptions, um, but because of the material of this as well, I don't wear this so much in the winter because um, I don't wanna like get it wet in the rain. I have been very careful with this one because I do love it so much. I, I love it more now than I did when I bought it. I think it's one of those bags that has really grown on me over like the past five years. And I think it suits it suits me so much more now than it did when I first bought it. Now we are moving on to large bags. Uh, the first being my uh, Dior, what is this called? Dior book tote. I love the Dior book tote. So I actually haven't worn this one in quite a while. This is more of a winter bag for me, uh, but I absolutely love it. I don't know why I still wear it more in the winter, even though it's fabric, which is very unpractical, but I think the colors of it um, work better during the winter. Um, it definitely is more of a winter toned bag, but yeah, I love the color of this. I love that it's a color without feeling like it's a color. Um, I think that works in very well with my winter style. I think it just works in really well into my wardrobe if I need to carry a lot of things, but I also want to look smart. This is one of the go-to bags for me. Um, it's not great in terms of like, you really can't like close it. In terms of security, it's not amazing, but if I want to look like smart and I'm like going somewhere and like traveling and just carrying a fair few bits, this is a great bag. I just sling it um, over my shoulder and kind of wear it under the crook of my arm. I still have no regrets over buying this. Everyone said when I bought this that I would regret it, but I really don't. I think it's gorgeous. And I'm glad I bought it when I did, because this is priced so much higher now. It is crazy. I wouldn't buy it now for the price that it's worth now. Um, I think I got this for under 2,000, I think it was like 1,800 pounds. But yeah, if you want to hear me talk about this more, I've got a what's in my handbag on this one. Then we have an oldie but a goodie. This is the Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche, which I love. It's so durable. It's like a canvas material. So you can like wipe it clean. Really love it for that. It's got the black leather detailing on it. This one you can fully like fasten at the top if you want to. And I love that. This one has one big pocket full of dog poo bags on the back. I really don't know why. Um, but then I also have a bag organizer inside it because number one, it helps it to hold its structure when it is just being stored. Um, but also, I really get annoyed at the fact that um, this has like zero um, compartments to it. So I got a bag organizer off of Amazon and I popped it in there. It's a great one for traveling with. It's actually pretty good for like shoving under your seat on an airplane. I think I've even managed to do that on EasyJet and that's not a lot of space. Yeah, it's a great one for traveling with and makes a really nice beach bag as well. So it's a good one to take on vacations. Another one that I've traveled with a lot this year has been my Balenciaga 
um, like giant Paris tote bag. I got this through some work with Farfetch. A lot of you have asked about this one in terms of like the wear and tear of it. Um, to be honest, it's just really dusty on the bottom. It's not like marked a lot. It's just got so much dust because I constantly put it on the floor. Oh no, it has got like some gray marks underneath. But to be honest, I never look at the bottom. Like I would never need to look at the bottom of my bag and I don't think anyone else has ever looked at it. But this one's doing pretty well for the fact that it has been absolutely everywhere with me this summer. There's not a time that I have gotten on a plane this summer. How many trips have I done? Like six trips? And there's not been a point when I haven't had this with me. It's just huge. It's got a huge zip compartment and then a huge like open compartment. I think it's even got like a loop that you can like attach stuff to if you wanted to, but I don't ever really do that. Um, and it fits so much in it. So like all of these that I've just shown, this one and the last two, they all fit like a very big uh, Apple MacBook in them. Um, Cause I think I've got like the 15 inch one. They all fit that. As you can see, it makes my travel wallet, which is enormous look like a drop in the ocean. I love the giant zip compartment because I can actually fit uh, the travel wallet in that. If I'm on a flight and I want to put this in like the overhead cabin section and I don't want my like money and passports to roll out, I can just zip that up. Um, so I really love it for that. It's just huge and like really cash. Great for like any situation where I need to go somewhere and take my laptop with me, but I don't want to like look dressy or like i'm going to the beach this is the difference between this and the saint laurent uh, reeve gauche the reeve gauche works better as a beach bag and like a holiday bag whereas this is just like every day throw crap in it and i love love that and then we have my newest bag which i actually think i may have lost my sanity when purchasing yeah just let's fully assume that i have lost all grip on my sanity okay i bought the saint laurent is it i care or i care Care. Someone DM'd me the other day and they were like, you got the eye care. And I was like, is she talking about my toothbrush? Like my Philips toothbrush? And then I realized she was talking about the bag. This is like black quilted with the giant YSL logo on the front, which has divided some opinions. Lots of you all have seen my short that I uploaded and my YouTube short where I unboxed this and a lot of people hated it. I personally think it's fab. I really like the fact that you can like fasten the top as well so that your essentials can't fall out, but you can also use the chain to loop across the center at the top and then it folds in and makes this kind of like, some might say bin liner shape. It literally just made a bin liner fashionable. But I absolutely love it because I love a black quilted bag i love a black quilted bag it has a nice big um pocket much like the balenciaga one that i just showed you um where it would fit my travel wallet so this could be a great one for travel but to be honest um i much prefer taking my balenciaga bag just for the fact that it's so much more low-key i don't ever worry about like marking it or scratching it i literally will just like throw that about everywhere. Um, if you were gonna pick one of like all of them, I would say the Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche is the easiest to wipe down. It has like basically no marks on it um, because you can wipe it. Whereas like the Balenciaga one, you can't wipe. And this one, I just don't know how it's gonna hold up yet. My guess is not well because it's just, it feels so delicate. I am worried that this leather could get scratched very easily. I don't know, it's more like one of those bags that I will take with me when I've got meetings and it's kind of like a step up from the Dior book tote, just very, it's slouchy and suits my style, but dressy at the same time. Um, and I really like it and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it in the winter, especially because it's a little bit more durable than the book tote in terms of um, like weather. I would say. I mean, none of them are particularly practical. I think if we wanted very practical, we'd probably just be buying a waterproof backpack. Let's not beat around the bush here. They're all incredibly overpriced and I can't justify a single one of them. But yeah, this has probably been the craziest one I've bought in a while to be, actually, no, I'm gonna say no, no. Do you know what? This one was so expensive. I think it was nearing the price of this one. And when you're looking at what you get, this one is crazy. So actually, I'm not gonna dump on this one too quickly because it's stunning and it fits so much in it. But yeah, I'm really interested to see uh, how I feel about this a year from now. But yeah, that is it from me. Thank you so much for sticking with me and watching such a long video. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed filming it so much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.